Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase a quick way we can actually check whether or not a character is a vowel. So, of course, the simplest way of doing it, just simply have a statement where we simply check is our input, so in this case, public static building is vowel, or character, ch, is that equal to a, e, i, o, u, or y? If it is, then it's a vowel. But this is a bit long and a bit annoying and doesn't look too good. So, a different way of doing it is simply checking if our input character this side is an index of this string and check whether or not it is different from minus one. So let me actually just go through an example to get a bit of understanding of how this actually works. So, and that just made it simple. If it's an else statement that checks, if it is a vowel, it output vowel. If it's not a vowel, it's going to be a constant when we just print constant. So let's say we have B. We then check this vowel with our input, which is going to be B. We then first check if B is an index of the string. So does this string contain B? And if it does, at which position? So in this case, it doesn't contain B. So this is just going to return minus one. And then we'll check is minus one different from minus one? Isn't. So we're going to return false. And it's not going to be a vowel. And in this case, we get if false. So we can hit our else statement. So it's going to be a constant. If we did a different input, like a for example, we're now going to check is vowel a. So does this string have a in it and in which position and which index? So a is inside the string and it is at index zero. So this part would return zero. We then check is zero different from minus one. It is. We then return true and we'll get that a is a vowel. So just a pretty simple way of doing it. But I at least think this looks quite a bit better and a bit cleaner. We simply just checks our character on a string containing all the vowels instead of just checking on each of the vowels. So this was my quick showcase of how we can check with Java. Rather not a character as a vowel using a few different ways, just check all of them or use a bit cleaner way using a string and index of. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.